some of the most extraordinary discoveries are made in museum collections. In preparation for Easter in 2016, members of staff at the Natural History Museum of Denmark went into the collection looking for eggs. And they found something unexpected. 75 million year old dinosaur eggshells found by Roy Chapman Andrews on his expedition to Mongolia in the 1920s. My name is Peter Kergaard. I'm Museum Director and Professor of Evolutionary History at the Natural History Museum of Denmark. Roy Chapman Andrews was an explorer and a scientist, working at the American Museum of Natural History. He was leading the Central Asiatic expeditions to the Mongolian plains in the Gobi Desert in search for the earliest human, our common ancestor. They never found any human ancestors, but they found something equally interesting. On the 13th of July, 1923, an assistant paleontologist one day stumbled upon a nest of dinosaur eggs. A discovery making headlines across the globe. In the box containing the eggshells, our curators found a personal note from Roy Chapman Andrews to the Danish Prince Valdemar. Now, what was the connection between Roy Chapman Andrews and the Danish prince? It turns out that in 1924, Prince Valdemar was attending his son's wedding in New York. He had one wish on this journey. He wanted to go to the American Museum of Natural History. Why he had such an interest in natural history, we don't know yet. But we know that Roger Hampton Andrews had returned at that time, bringing back the sensational dinosaur eggs. And it's quite possible that they were talking about the eggshells. We also know from the note that Roy Chapman Andrews and Prince Valdemar shared a train journey from New York to Chicago. Why he decided to give the dinosaur eggshells to a Danish prince remains a mystery. Prince Valdemar was not the only Danish connection. Surprisingly, George Olsen, the assistant paleontologist who found the first nest of dinosaur eggs, was born in a small Danish town. Following the initial success of finding the dinosaur eggs, Roy Chapman Andrews and his team had the slogan, better and bigger eggs. George Olsen was the star. He found more eggs than anybody else. In Roy Chapman Andrews' words, he was dinosaur egg champion of the world. When Olsen first discovered the eggs, he thought they belonged to a dinosaur called Protoceratops. But when they were carefully excavating the shells, they discovered the small skull of another dinosaur. And they assumed this had been trapped in a sandstorm and died in the act of raiding the eggs. And so they called the dinosaur Oviraptor, egg thief. But now, in fact, we know that the eggshells were the eggshells of Oviraptor itself, and the animal was almost certainly guarding the eggs and not eating them. My name is Matthew Collins, and I'm a professor here at the Natural History Museum in Copenhagen. I've been working on eggshells for the past five years, and they've been a difficult problem to crack. Eggshell is an amazing material. When you think of most shells, you know that they take years to form, but eggshell forms in a matter of days. Because it forms so quickly, it traps lots of molecules inside, molecules that we can analyze. We're very lucky here at Copenhagen to have an incredible range of researchers and analytical tools that can hopefully begin to further answer some questions about these ancient eggshells. 
as we begin to better understand how the proteins decay, we'll understand better how to analyze the remnants of those proteins in dinosaur eggshell, if we can find it. And I think the most exciting thing that we can then do is get from the amino acids, the building blocks of proteins, information about the physiology of the animals, and in particular about who and what they were eating in the past, whether they were high-level predators or low-level herbivores.